Here we are, deep in the undergrowth. Look at all these wobbly creatures. What's up guys, it's the uh, first weekend of lockdown 2 in the UK and I'm going to hit the uh, River Ancombe today, see if I can catch a few fish. Um, unusual tactics, I'm trying the coarse fly fishing. Um, so yeah, lovely way to start with behind me, so we'll try that first and see how we get on. So, first cast of the day. We're fishing a dry dropper technique, for those of you familiar with that on the Trout for Rivers. With us being coarse fishing, I'm trying something a little bit different for flies though. Um, I've gone for a big foam grasshopper as my sort of indicator fly, um, and then a squirmy worm as the point fly. Both tied myself, both made from quite buoyant materials, or readily available materials. Um, squirmy worm is something I knocked up from some old pole elastic and a copper bead on a size 14. Um, the, the grasshopper one basically just uses some old polystyrene closed cell foam packaging that you'd get um, sort of inside pencil cases, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. Really that one's just for indication um, more than anything. I'm hoping the squirmy worm will do the business. Bit of a drift coming in from this um, Weir here, it's quite a lot of flow pushing my fly. I might need to put start throwing a few men's in. Usually, you tend to see the odd fish move here. Um, but usually, a lot of small perch. Surprisingly cold today as well, it's not that warm at all. The car told me it was about five degrees when I left the, the car on a Saturday afternoon. Well, the main reason I've gone for such a big indicator is it's really easy to see. Um, I was hoping my kids would come with me today, but they're not... Oh, I've hit the tree. At least there are no leaves on it today. Last time I was here, I spent a lot of time trying to get unhooked. Isn't it funny? It always seems to be a tree on my right-hand side. Where I want to be casting. Right. There, we should be free of the foliage. Now, we just need to be free of my gear. Put that in all. Whee! It's a bit slarropy, that was nearly me on the floor. Stay down it, it's a bit more level. That was a knock. I saw that just jolt something. I had a look at the squirmy. The indicator just bobbed. Anything there? I'll tell you what I have forgotten. I've forgotten to put my sunglasses on. Not for the sun, but to see through the glare. Let's see if we can get another one a bit closer that side. Is it going to have a little look at that? I think we're going to move on to my favourite spot and start working back. I always like to try here first. But, um, yeah, with no guarantee. Just because it's such a pretty place to fish with the water in front of you. With the weir. Anything doing? No, a bit of weed on. Right, time for a bit of this action. Here we are, deep in the undergrowth. Look at all these wobbly creatures. Saw a fish move, so I just thought I'd have a cheeky cast in this little narrow bit. Not the best scenario. No line out because I've literally just stopped as I was walking along. No, it's weed. 
Saw the indicator stop moving then, thought that was a fish. We've got a weed fish on. It is a smidge weedy here, I think I'll leave it and move on again. What a nice place to spend a Saturday afternoon, watching the sun go down on the uh, first weekend in November 2020. Just need a fish or two, but who cares if we don't catch fish when you've got a view like this. It's nice to be outside. Remember guys, fishing should be fun. Well, here we are approaching the spot that I want to fish. It's not very deep here at all. Um, main feature for me is the overhanging tree that we've got there. Last time I came here, uh, quite a few follows, quite a few takes on, from perch. Um, but, unfortunately I managed to snag a pike which didn't go so well. Um, so yeah, three or four seconds on the hook before the inevitable happened and it severed the line. Two or three casts with this squirmy worm effort thing. And then uh, we'll switch over maybe to something like a red tag or a caddis. Just to see if we can catch something. Traditional sort of grayling patterns really that I'm gonna try next. I think I might do better for the coarse fish given the temperature of the water. It's pretty easy to see my indicator here as well. It's just, oh, there's some little fish moving, tapping. I think. Hi. Move that worm, see what happens. Yep, something's on the hook. So we're sort of fishing almost like a hybrid technique between coarse fishing and fly fishing here. Um, I'm almost letting the fly sit on the deck with this worm, because obviously that's what a worm would do. No, I think that'll do for the squirmy worm. Let's try and do something else. All right. What do we go for? Where did I put those little nymphs? I'll go for a red tag. Get out there. Went fast around the real seat there, but that was a bit too far. Plink. Little copper head on this red tag. Three mil bead. Right, time for a flashy lure, I think. Nice So we switch to this, little lure with a bead head. See whether that works. Because there ain't nothing taking the dry dropper to rig today. Shorten my leader and we'll see whether we can catch anything with this. Floating line, of course, so it should work for this shallow area that we're fishing at the minute. I can already feel an improvement without its fishing. So we'll let that drop and then figure out it back. Oh, that was a tap straight away. Whether it was the bottom or not, I don't know. Promising, though. Something hit it. Weed, the bottom, something. We'll have another cast in that same spot, I think. Well, no fish, unfortunately, today. Um, yeah, it's been a bit tricky. Um, there was a lady with a dog. I think that's probably what to put it off. She's put the dog in the river a few times, so it stopped the fish. Uh, I'm moving, scared the hell out of them really, I think. 
yeah, it's been a bit tricky today. No fish, unfortunately, but yeah, it's what comes with it sometimes. But a nice time to be out, a bit of fresh air, a bit of exercise. As I say at the start of the video, we're in lockdown now. So uh, yeah, it's good to get out and about. Fishing is one of the few outdoor activities that we're allowed to do. So uh, yeah, out here you never see anybody anyway. So yeah, love being out and about. Um, bit of a walk, bit of a fish. It's always a bonus if you get your string pulled, but never mind. So uh, yeah, if you like what you see and uh, you want to see more of this sort of stuff, hit the button down there to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you another time.